Hey everyone, welcome to my review of the DC Multiverse Gold Label Walmart exclusive Captain Adam. And before I forget, we can look, take a quick look at the box. This is the Gold Label. His card is right here, even though this is technically his new 52 look. But the, the figure itself is classic Captain Adam. I don't know why they give him. This even says right here on the box, new 52, but we don't need to worry about that. He does come with a figure display that I don't really take out because I don't really need, but let's get right into the figure. Now this, like many of you I know, have had trouble finding this figure. Um, I mean, Walmart's exclusives are always probably one of the hardest to find. Um, Target is bad too, but no, I think Walmart takes the cake on this one. But luckily, finally, these figures have gotten more in stock. Um, I picked mine up like maybe a week ago, and I'm finally getting around to do the video, but let's get started so this is captain adam let's get the head sculpt first as always and this is a pretty nice looking head sculpt for captain adam the paintwork and like the hair it looks looks really good in my opinion and like the black around the eyes look pretty neat i think overall this is pretty minimalistic in terms of like the paint um, but the little that we do get is pretty nice. I do wish these were painted a little bit better, as you can see right here on the arm. Kind of sloppy, on, at least on his right one, which kind of sucks, but no biggie. The boots are sculpted in plastic, uh, blue plastic. I wish the hands were sculpted as well. And then his symbol in the middle of his chest. So the little paint that we do get, I do think it's all right. Now for the articulation, you can go up this much. This is pretty much the typical body buck that we've seen for these figures. Uh, the Flash had it, Blue Beetle has it, he has it, um, the Riddler's gonna have it. So it's one that you should be pretty familiar of if you collect McFarlane. But he does have a good rotation right here. Bicep swivel. Double pins at the elbow, your McFarlane wrists, and hands. Torso can rotate up here. You can pivot this much, pivot that much, and go back that much, which is really nice. And forward, which is not too bad. His head can articulate pretty normally. You can look up this much, down that much, some pivot. And then the rotation. You can kick out about that far. You can kick out that much. You can do the full splits. You can kick back that much. And then you can bend his knees about that much. And then he does have some rotation right here at the thigh. And then your typical McFarlane feet with the toe articulation and go out that much and then go forward about that much now my minor grabs for this figure are again the wrists they just look too small and the choice of hands i wish he would have come with at least two fifths instead of one like opened hand i don't know why they decided to just keep it pretty basic or at least not include any extra arms but for accessories, he does come with obviously the collector's card and the figure display. But he does come with two power effects, which are pretty nice. Now, they're kind of hard to put on, but once they're on, they stay pretty snug. And I mean, they for the effects that we do get, they look pretty cool. Again, I wish this was another fist, but they look pretty nice. You can get some cool poses with him, which are pretty sweet. However, I do wish that he came with like a flight stand or something, you know, since he's like supposed to be flying most of the time, but overall I do think it's, it's a pretty decent figure. Now for some accessory or some accessories. Now for some comparison, here he is next to the Titans Wave Nightwing. Here's Captain Adam next to the Nightfall Catwoman. Next to the Flashpoint Flash, which share the same body next to Beast Boy and last but not least here he is next to the Nightfall Batman which you can see he is 
a little bit taller. Um, I do have his legs slightly bent, so it's not completely accurate, but that's how they'll look together. Uh, overall, I do think this is a solid looking figure, one that I was very, very happy to come across. Um, if you're able to find him, I know he's more in stock than before. Definitely do recommend you pick him up, especially if you see him on sale. I know I've been seeing some Walmarts online, um, like people who post online that they have it at $12. So if you can get it for $12, I think that's a steal but other than that let me know what you guys think are you going to pick them up have you picked them up what are your thoughts of the figure like subscribe and i'll see you in the next one peace out